Video games have a reputation for rotting young minds with their emphasis on weapons, violence, conflict, and death. But KPBS reporter Matt Bowler tells us some teachers and game designers say they can also be highly beneficial educational tools. Video games are fun, but they can be violent. Many popular video games are about conflict and death. But can they be educational? The game designer Liz Fiaco says that some video games are like great books. Well done games are literature. They're amazing and it's just like a different kind of way to experience something other than just like through a book or anything like that. Professor Bernie Dodge says that the fictional virtual worlds of games should be part of education. But if we really want to prepare kids for this century, then um, I, th I think there's a different kind of game required. It's more like a simulated experience. It's more like moving through an environment that you can't actually get to right here and now. Exploring new environments is something he did with his own son. Dodge remembers how his boy learned from a game about solar systems. And I watched him at age, oh, I don't know, four or five, intuitively figuring out what would make a stable solar system. Fiaco says she discovered how to think logically while playing the game The Logical Journey of the Zumbinis, and it didn't feel like school. You never felt like you were being lectured to at any time. Everything was experimental. You would try things, you would fail things, and you would learn the best practices through that kind of trial and error. Failing and trying again is a big part of video games. It's this learning cycle that video game journalist Malik Forte says helped him. Failure and you know rejection and things of that nature really used to scare me. Um, and with a video game, you know, being fun, but still having that element of challenge to it, I want to challenge myself. I want to see if I can overcome this and attain the knowledge that's necessary. Just like in the video game, you got to kind of attain the knowledge. You got to kind of research and know what you're doing. But he doesn't think video games should replace books. Well, where I see books being better is uh, automatically right off the bat, your imagination. Uh, this is more of a chance for you to kind of paint the picture for yourself. However, video games and their special kind of narrative offer a uniquely immersive experience. When you read a book, you're kind of like the person on the outside looking at the story and watching the movie. Whereas when you're playing a video game, you feel like you're actually in the movie. You're, you're actually the person, the star. Video games educate by letting players discover new worlds. And each time the game is played, the player has a unique experience. One player might feel angry at one moment, another player might be, feel betrayed by that moment and like disheartened and there's really kind of no way to bridge that because it's like it's happening to different people across the board um, rather than characters you've determined in the book to have like a specific character about them. Dodge says video games can help students learn skills that are valuable outside of the classroom. I think the the teamwork or the leadership skills, the kinds of things that games like that can can uh, develop, are not on the test. They are. We all value them as parents. We all value them looking at you know what we want the next generation to look like. And Liz Fiaco says that games have a place in the classroom, just like books or movies. Just not every game. I definitely think that there's there's a place for games in the classroom. Um, uh, and it just depends on the type of game. Like, like it, it depends on the type of book or the type of movie. Matt Bowler, KPBS News.